We all know what happens when you combine diet soda with Mentos the Freshmaker. A glorious geyser erupts and reaches to the very heavens. But why? And what happens if you chug a bottle of diet soda and then you chase it with a roll of Mentos? We'll find out. The frothy concoction looks like an impressive chemical reaction, but it's not. It's a physical reaction known as carbon dioxide bubble growth. Carbonated beverages contain dissolved carbon dioxide gas, which forms bonds with water. When soda is in a bottle, the gas is kept in by the pressurized conditions. When you crack open a bottle of soda, you hear the of carbon dioxide gas escaping. You've just liberated it from the bonds it made with water in the soda. But what about all the other carbon dioxide gas inmates inside the bottle? They're trapped by the surface tension of the water. They're not getting out. Unless something like a Mentos busts them out, Turns out that Mentos, with its dozens and dozens of microscopic layers of liquid sugar, are the ultimate bond breakers of carbonization. Think of their surface like stucco on a building. The nooks and crannies make ideal places for the carbon dioxide to grab onto them, disrupting the polar attractions between water molecules. That's the, the bond between carbon dioxide and water, and this creates those bubble growth sites. Of course, that's not the whole story. The density of the Mentos plummeting to the bottom of the bottle also encourages more bubbles to form. And Mentos are coated in gum arabic, a substance that helps to reduce the surface tension in water. And the less surface tension, the better the chance the carbon dioxide gas can escape. And this is where diet soda versus regular soda comes into play. The aspartame in diet soda lowers the surface tension, resulting in bigger, better, dazzling bursts of soda in Mentos. So what, if anything, would happen if you decided to make a human soda and Mentos geyser out of your own gut? The burps, for sure, but you're in no danger of your stomach exploding. Should you overindulge yourself, you'd just vomit. And that's an entirely different kind of fountain. Uh, tell us what your favorite Mentos and Cola video explosion is. You can let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more gut-busting videos.